FPC Security is proud to introduce our Wi-Fi socket and wireless receiver Maglock kits. These kits will allow you to control your door from your smartphone or pad. For proper installation, please make sure that you have the following diagrams and installation manuals for each individual product on hand. Warning, please read carefully. It is recommended to use electrical wire for this installation. 18 slash 2 or 20 slash 2 gauge wire would be sufficient. This wire is a requirement that is needed to connect the mag lock, receiver and exit button. You may also use this wire as an extension for the power supplies. Before purchasing or installing this kit, you will need to check and comply with your local fire authority to make sure you comply with fire code compliance. Each state has different laws. We are not responsible for improper installation of this kit. This video is an example of how it should be installed, but all applications are different. If you are not handy with electrical components, please consult with a certified electrician or locksmith. Make sure that when you are installing this kit, to have all electrical components turned off. We are not responsible for any type of short circuits. In order to get started with this installation, you need to make sure you have the following tools on hand. First step will be to take both power supplies that are provided in the kit and cut the end of each connector. When cutting is completed, you will find two wires at the end of the power supply. The positive side of the power supply is identified by the white dashes along the wire. The negative wire will be soldered black. Second step is going to be taking the positive wire from one of the power supplies and connect it to the positive terminal of the maglock. Third step will be connecting the maglock to the exit button. For this step, we must get the exit button and have electrical wire on hand. For this entire installation, we will only be using the common, which is the green wire, and the normally closed, which is the orange wire, from the exit button. We will now get a piece of electrical wire and connect one end to the common green wire from the exit button, and the other end of the electrical wire will be connected to the negative terminal of the maglock. Fourth step will be connecting the exit button to the receiver. For this step, we will also need another piece of electrical wire. Get the one end of the electrical wire and connect it to the normally closed orange wire from the exit button. The other end of the electrical wire will be connected to the normally closed terminal on the receiver, which is the little black box. Fifth step will be connecting the receiver to the first power supply that was used to connect to the maglock in step number one. The negative portion of the power supply, which is solid black, will go into the common of the receiver.
Sixth step will be to give power to the exit button so you will have it illuminated. For this step, you must get two pieces of electrical wire. One piece of electrical wire will go to the red wire from the exit button, and the other end will go to the positive terminal of the receiver. The other electrical wire will be connected to the black wire from the exit button, and the other end will go to the negative terminal of the receiver. Seventh step will be to connect the other power supply directly into the receiver. Make sure that you have cut the connector from the power supply. Connect the positive side of the power supply to the positive terminal of the receiver. Then we will now connect the negative side of the power supply to the negative terminal on the receiver. Eighth step is a summary of all the connections. Ninth step is to plug in the Wi-Fi socket to the outlet and download the Wi-Fi application on the phone. For this step, we're using an iPhone, but you can also use an Android phone. Open your QR Reader app from your phone. If you do not have one, please go to your phone store and download a QR application. Now we will take the picture of the iPhone QR code that is on the back of the Wi-Fi socket box. Then. You will go ahead and download the application. When the Wi-Fi socket is plugged into the outlet, uh, you will see that a blue light will come on the Wi-Fi socket and it will start blinking blue slowly. Now we will go to the settings on the phone and go to the Wi-Fi section. In this section, you will select OKSP. OK then we will go back to the application and slide the page until we get to the client configuration. In this section, you will select the on and off switch, which is the first button on the left. Then click on configuring. In the Wi-Fi box, please select your local Wi-Fi connection and in the key box, type in your Wi-Fi connection password. Click configure and wait for 30 seconds. After that has been completed, we will click on the device button below. Now press the smart plug device. In the name box, you will be able to enter your own unique name for this device. Click on the check mark above. Press your device on the app and you will enter into the section that will allow you to turn on and off the device.
Now we will show you how to plug in the power supply to the Wi-Fi socket. Please make sure that you plug in the power supply that is plugged into the maglock. Warning, if you plug in the other power supply, the Wi-Fi socket will not work. Now let's get to the exciting part. Grab your phone and go into the application, select your device and turn the system on and off. Now that you have the system working, you can use this application from anywhere. Just make sure that your Wi-Fi is working on the location that you installed this device. And also make sure that your internet is working on your phone. Eleventh step will be to explain on the different functions that the receiver has and how to program them. It's important to note that the receiver's default function works the following way. When you press the remote once, the maglock will release and stay released for four seconds, and then it will automatically lock. The second function that would need to be programmed works very similar to a light switch on and off function. In order to program this, Please get a small flat end screwdriver and press the function switch. Hold that button for about 3 seconds and then press it one more time until it flashes twice. Once this has been done, you have programmed the, the second function. Tenth step will be to program the wireless remotes. This remote has a range of approximately 320 feet. Please make sure that you have one of the buttons in your hand while we do this step. We will now go to the receiver and press the programming switch which is located on the side of the receiver. Make sure you take off the black cover for this step. We are going to press on that button for about 3 seconds until the LED light starts flashing. Then you will press the button on the remote once and wait till the light on the receiver stops flashing.
Step 13. In this step, we will show you a diagram of how to install the LNZ brackets on an in-swinging door. You will see various examples on how to do it. Thank you.